All right, YouTube, we're back with another watch review. Today we have the GMWB 5000 CS, and that's just numbers to most people. This is the Tron Edition, the um, laser etching etched G-Shock Bluetooth watch. Now, here's the watch itself. I'm wearing white gloves, not because I don't want to show my hands. I don't mind that. This one is a magnet for um, prints and whatnot. So I wanted to wear a, some watches so I could keep the details visible on the watch without interrupting the watch by showing all the prints and stuff on it. So here it is. The box, the box itself is nothing to uh, call home about. Uh, G-Shock here printed on the top, kind of engraved, but no color, pretty plain. But the magic is inside the box. Let's take a look. Move this to the side. And here it is, the Tron, AKA the Tron, metal engraved or laser engraved G-Shock watch. The box itself, here's included the contents of the little box. You have your manual here, your warranty card. Um, here it is, module 3459 manual. Nothing great to see here. Here's the warranty card in here somewhere come on sneaking out the back there it is international warranty card nothing important or interesting there but i'll show it to you guys in case you were interested or curious to see what's included in the box move this to the side as well let's continue on here it is the g-shock tron now this is a standard box but the print on the trunk is different and it's pretty freaking cool you have the same tron or laser engraved design on the box that is carried over from the watch on the side here you have g-shock and silver pretty neat <laughs> i can't stop staring at it it's pretty cool then underneath here you have the same design carried into the inner side of the box and also into the interior of the box with the cool silver detail here around the edges. Nice and bold silver detail lining. And then the lining inside also has the Tron or the laser engraved looking pattern inside the box. The pillow is no different. The pillow also carries that design, which is new. I've yet to see a pillow for the GMW B5000 that has a design. It's pretty much always been black. Okay, we'll put this to the side and then let's talk about the watch. Here it is. Now this is brand new. First time I'm actually opening it. Okay, GMW B5000, but I uh, intend to keep this one in the condition that it is with all the stickers on it so i'm going to talk about my trusty sidekick here the one on my wrist so let's do that all right here's the tag gmwb 5000 cs with the um skew and then the module 3459 with the 800 dollars price tag i've seen this going for about 550 recently you can still get it for about 550 600 dollars um, once they're gone though, I do anticipate the price to go up. Um, so get it while you can. All right. So again, I'm wearing gloves. I already sized this one to my liking. Wearing gloves because this one is um, prone to smudges and it's hard to keep it looking neat. So let's talk about the design here. This is a, um, it was released in June of 2020 for $800 in retail. Okay, it is, um, unfortunately, it's not tita titanium. It's actually, it's stainless steel. So it's uh, a little bit heavier than the titanium, but it's still a cool design. The glass is also not sapphire. This is actually mineral glass that was included in this watch. It is though IP coated, which I think is really good detail. The IP coating does help prevent some of the scratches and um, unfortunately the glossy polished look 
does cause a lot of stains and a lot of smudges and fingerprints on it. So just be prepared for that. It's, it's a little bit annoying. It looks nasty when you uh, handle the watch with oily hands, but uh, I gave it a nice little clean before I put my gloves on. You can see there how fast it got smudged. I'll go ahead and wipe that down and always remember use a microfiber cloth when wiping down your watches to prevent scratches. This watch is um, 200 meter water resistant. It's tough solar. It does have a cool backlight, an LED backlight. Um, it's Bluetooth technology, it has five, you got that right, five alarms, five world time options with 39 time zone options that you can select for your world times. All right, the case is 49.3 millimeters by 43.2 and 13 millimeters in um, size, okay? It does have a tri-fold band. One, two, three. I, I always count those. I don't know why. One, two, three, trifold band. And then you have an awesome screw back um, back on the, on the watch there. Now, you'll notice something important about this watch. Now, this one has an S engraved on the back. Now, for you guys, have you ever seen this before? This is actually a sample watch. Now, this is only released to uh, authorized dealers across the world. And their intended use is to display them and show them to the public and handle them so you can get an anticipation and um, hype over the watch. Fortunately, these don't go to the public. I was fortunate enough somehow to get my hands on this cool sample watch and I'm happy to keep it and I will be wearing it. Some people say the quality is not as good as the um, um, uh, world release or the mass release produced G-Shock watches, but I beg to differ. I've had, I've had few um sample watches and they've held up pretty well okay there you see the 3459 module casio g-shock resistance gmwb 5000 tough solar stainless steel and a multi-band 6 bluetooth technology okay it is made in japan now this watch itself um like i said it's got this grid tunnel finish this is what they call it this is what casio calls this these lines it's called the grid tunnel and this is supposed to uh represent time travel i guess um i don't know how what they mean by that but it's supposed to uh, represent time travel and the connection between the past and the future um based on these lines um people have dubbed this or or uh gave it a nickname the tron because of the tron lights and all the um linear lines that are used in the movie tron so I think that pretty much that does does a good job. It does fit that description. Um, on the case itself, you'll see it's got like I said, it's polished, but you have the Tron or the um, the tunnel finish the grid that carries from the bezel onto the bands and into the case back as well. You see that right there on the side of the bezel and also into the screw back. Okay. All right, so it's pretty cool. It carries all around. This is laser engraved. That's carried from the bezel through the watch all the way to the box. <laughs> I think that's pretty neat. All right, this watch, I'll go through the modes here. You have your, on the main window, your home time, you have the day of the week, the date, and then you have your time with seconds. Okay. Push the mode here. You have your world time. Like I said, there's five world time options. Two, three, four, and five. Then next mode, you have your alarm settings, which you have one alarm, two, three, four, and then you have your snooze. That's your fifth alarm. And you have your signal option. Next, you have your stopwatch your timer, and back to your home time. All right, now this watch is best used with the Bluetooth technology to set it up. Um, you don't have to use the Bluetooth. You could adjust and make the adjustments directly from your watch here by pushing and holding the top left button. Set your home time. I haven't even set this one up. Exit by pushing it again. But I recommend using the Bluetooth. There's a lot more functions that you could, um, that you could uh, use with the Bluetooth watch uh, app and it's much easier to send the setting to your phone and connect it to your watch than it is to manually manually adjust the watch 
um, on, the, on the watch. All right, so now let's take a close-up macro. I love doing these macro shots. See if we can capture some of the details, but first I'll wipe it down with some microfiber so you guys can get a good look at the watch. Let's do that, let's go. All right, there you have it. The Tron GMWB5000 CS-1. Very cool watch. Um, I have a small wrist. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on my, on my wrist. Right there, move to the side. And I do have a small wrist. I managed to take off nearly a whole bracelet <laughs> to make it fit my wrist. But there it is. Pretty cool. Now again, this is one of those watches where you have to see it in person to really appreciate how it looks. Um, it looks very cool with the nice designs there. Um, but I think, uh, check it out. And I think you guys would appreciate how it looks in person. Okay. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment below. What do you think? Too flashy? Is this something you would wear? I think it's pretty cool. Till next time, I'll see you guys very soon. This is Chicago. How about you, boy? I'm out of here. Peace. I'm rocking my G-Shock. 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 I'm rocking my G-Shock.